Richard Southern joins us now from the 680 News Business Center. And Richard, another staggering day of losses on the markets. Worst uh, point drop ever for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And how many times have you been saying that in the last <laughs> few days, right? Yeah, a broken record, not a good one, uh, let me tell you. But I mean, this was staggering with the Dow Jones Industrial Average falling almost 3,000 points. I mean, this is the worst by far. Uh, you can see the Dow at the bottom there, down almost 3,000 points today. The TSX, back to where it was four years ago, down more than 1,300 points. Uh, investors really spooked today by a number of things. First off, the U.S. Central Bank slashing American interest rates to zero on a Sunday night. That really had traders spooked today, and they were in a selling mood when that opening bell rang this morning. Uh, the, uh, the fact is becoming clear now that this whole situation is going to cause a major, major economic problem. With cities around the world shutting down, that's going to absolutely pummel uh, the global economy. We also had Trump coming out late day, Cynthia, and uh, not really, a, you know, uh, offering up a lot of assur assurances. In fact, the U.S. president said he thinks the economic trouble could last into August. Uh, hard hit names included Boeing, the plane maker, down 23 percent. McDonald's down 16 percent. Uh, on Bay Street, Cineplex, the movie theater company, down 54 percent. Cut in half, Cynthia, with, you know, people, uh, they won't be going to the movies anymore. Uh, not for a while, anyways. MTY Food Group, the Swiss Chalet and Harvey's owner, down 36 percent. Among the few stocks that closed higher sin, Kroger, the toilet paper maker, Clorox, the bleach maker, and Campbell Soup. Not surprising. And we're about to see prices tumble again overnight, Richard. Uh, the silver lining here continues to be the price of gas. No change tonight, Cynthia. Gas not changing tonight. However, first thing on Wednesday morning, we're going down another nine cents. That'll bring the average here in the GTA to 75.9. When was the last time we were paying 75 cents a liter? I it's can't remember. Been a while, Sin. It's been a while. Uh, oil down to $28 and change today. Good for the gas pumps, but a, a continued major issue for Canada's economy that oil is down on the $28 range. All right. Now, Richard, as people are warned to stay at home, one of North America's most popular tourist destinations is feeling the pinch as well. The one place that never closes is the casinos, especially in the Vegas Strip. But they're closing up shops, Cynthia. We heard from MGM last night, one of the biggest operators there, closing uh, the likes of Excalibur, Bellagio, MGM Grand, Mandalay Bay, uh, Wynn closing its big casino operations on the Vegas Strip. They don't know when they're going to reopen. And even when they do, it could take months for business and conferences to return. We saw MGM down 30 percent on the Wall Street stock market today. Just one of the many equities that got absolutely pummeled in. All right, Richard, thank you so much, and we'll talk to you again in the next hour. Thank you.